Howdy, hon. Welcome back to the channel. This is Steph's Got It, and sitting next to me in the video is Marty. And as you can clearly hear, I'm about to do a voiceover because at this point, you can see that things have gone horribly wrong in production. See here, I'm super excited because I got one of my favorite things in this box. You, I've told you before that there's a pantry that you can order from in addition to your regular subscription. And this time in the pantry, they had uh, seaweed snacks. So this is Kim Nori seaweed snacks. And one is sea salt. And there are 12 packets in each one of those little kits there that you see. And the ingredients are organic seaweed, organic sunflower oil, and sea salt. And that is it. So I'm really excited about that. I love seaweed snacks. The other bag, the second bag I pulled up, same thing, but it's Korean barbecue. So I'm super stoked to try those as well. Now they have a few more ingredients, but all of the ingredients are, are organic. So there's organic seaweed, organic sunflower oil, organic Korean barbecue, which has organic cane sugar, organic garlic, organic uh, tamaris, tamari sauce, soy, tamari soy. Then it has sauce, which has organic soybeans and salt. And then we go back to the regular ingredients of salt, organic melto, maltodextrin, organic rice concentrate, organic spices, organic onion, organic chipotle pepper, organic chili pepper, citric acid, organic toasted sesame oil, and organic distilled white vinegar. So this product does contain soy. So if you have a reaction to soy, you might not want to try the, the seasoned seaweed one. All right, and then you see me holding up a box. It is Garden of Eden. E-A-T-I-N apostrophe, <laughs> and they're blue coin taco shells, and they are also organic. So I'm looking forward to trying those as well. Those are a bag of green beans that I ordered for Marty. I like, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that Marty eats green beans for lunch every day, uh, sometimes twice a day. And that's me fussing at him for yet again, eating a vegetable before I can wash it off first. But he says they're very good. So I like to put them on the George Foreman grill and cook them that way and pretend they're french fries. <laughs> that is some plantain chips. I am actually eating those right now. And uh, they are tortellina, tortellinis salted plantain chips. They have a very bland flavor, but a very good flavor at the same time. There's nothing sweet about it. It's uh, plantains, palm palm palmolian oil and salt um, they're tasty i like them and then you see there was also some fresh uh spinach and i'm gonna saute that in some butter and garlic to go with our uh brisket i cooked yesterday in the instant pot and you see there me holding a, a bag of fresh cranberries and trying to figure out what in the heck did I order this or did they send these? Because why would I order fresh cranberries? I mean, I like my cranberry sauce the way it comes in a can, jellied and in a can. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to figure out why in the world did I order that? And as near as I can guess is I'm probably going to put it in the air fryer and use the dehydrator and maybe make some cran raisins to go in my salads because I do love to have those in my salad. So that's the only logical, sensible reason I can think of why I would have ordered a bag of cranberries. I don't even like jellied cranberry. I like it in, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't like the the bumpy lumpy one. I like it jellied and in a can. So <laughs> those are fresh blackberries. I love blackberries. I probably won't order those again, but it was worth a try. Next, you're going to see Marty present the hated vegetable celery. And you'll actually see I'm smiling because I was actually happy that they did send some because again, this is the day before Thanksgiving and I want to make some dressing with my, um, buttermilk homemade cornbread and so i thought well you know what it's good they did send it 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 will help with the 
with the uh, dressing for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to speed past the rest of that speech because I just told you what it was all about. <laughs> is presenting me with the purple uh, broccoli and that was all that came in that little bundle. And next, of the way Marty presents the vegetables like they're this most pressured treasure. <laughs> That would be the Romanesca, which is a green um, cauliflower type deal. And moving on, we see another bunch of fresh spinach. We see some squash. So I was very excited to see that. Uh, you've seen us open, unbox the squash before. Really good. Marty handed me what looks like a pumpkin and what I said was a pumpkin, but it's not. It's a coconut um, squash. So that was very interesting. C, I mean, I'm sorry, K O G I N U T. And it's a blend between a butternut and a, a kabocha squash. So it should be buttery, mildly sweet tasting flesh with an edible skin and a creamy texture. So I'm very excited to see how that works. Of course, you know I had to look it up. <laughs> and there's also a seedless mini watermelon. Both of those were add-ons. They were not in the box. I bought those from the pantry. That's the tiniest watermelon <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> and here we have some cucumbers mixed with some zucchinis. So yes, there were some mini cucumbers and then there were some zucchinis and I think there was even one or two regular cucumbers because I really wanted some cucumbers, which reminds me I have to go make the cucumber Asian salad. It did not break in the box, Marty broke it, um, broke that one. So this time they all came intact, so pretty good. And you can see now he is handing me two bags of something that I purchased from the pantry and those are butternut squash, but they've already been peeled and diced. So I don't have to try to cut that hard thing up. And I wanted those because I have been dying to make this recipe with brown sugar and honey with uh, the butternut squash. So I'm really excited about that. That's why I got two bags. <laughs> All right, these are two ears of tricolored corn. So I was excited to try that. Um, and they were like, I don't know, 49 cents or 79 cents or something like that. It was really cheap. So I got one for each of us to try because I love corn on the cob and I love experimenting with all the different uh, varieties. And the coolest way to do it is to pull that husk off and pull the silk. Oh no, actually get yourself a wet paper towel and wrap that up in there and put it in the microwave for four minutes, take it out, cut the ends off and it slides right out of the silk with no problem. The best corn you ever want to taste. And of course you can slather it in butter. That would be two of the regular cucumbers that were in the box that I'm holding right now. That hand gesture is all about going on right now, but in those bags are something you have seen us order before, and I I chose those my, as soon as I saw them. They are sunchokes. <laughs> I have been waiting so long to get some more sunchokes. I have even gone to Amazon and tried to buy some so that I could grow them myself in our garden. Um, I We absolutely love them. Um, some people also call them Jerusalem artichokes, but they're really not, but some people call them that too. So um, I was excited to order those again. See what they look like. They kind of look like ginger, and that's what we initially thought they were the first time. <sighs> but they're awesome. They taste so good. Now we're at the part of the unboxing where Marty is finding all of the red potatoes. Um, and there's the beloved butternut squash in all of its wholeness, <laughs> which means I'm going to just have to throw that bad boy in the instant pot or the air fryer and just cook it as is. And then I split it open after it's cooked and pull all the seeds out. So that works really well for me. If you're looking for a new way <clears throat> to not have to fight with it, try that. 
Okay, and next we have a acorn squash. Okay, those are watermelon radishes. And the ever-loved lim um, limes. And one day I'm going to make that lime pie. One day. <laughs> of course, they're all so good for your water. And there's my favorite. Bartlett pears. I couldn't get the regular ones, and these are red ones, and I've never had the red ones, so I'm excited to try them. And there's a garlic. Um, I will probably order garlic every time because it's really inexpensive at the sale price that they sell it for, and it's nice to have fresh garlic. It's so much better than the jar stuff. <sighs> yeah, apparently I'm pretty excited about fresh garlic. <laughs> And then those are some of the uh, potatoes. And you can see that poor one there has had some, a lot of family trauma going on inside. <laughs> but um, those potatoes are the best cream potatoes or uh, baked in the, in the Instant Pot. Oh, they're so good. Okay, here we have uh, Grandy Oats organic maple roasted cashews. I love cashews and I love honey. So I was super stoked to try these. And yes, believe it, I did order bro uh, Brussels sprouts from the pantry. <laughs> now that we have our recipe with apple cider vinegar and honey and sugar, brown sugar and bacon, we are so in love with Brussels sprouts now. <laughs> In case you didn't hear me the first time, brown sugar bacon. Hello. <laughs> All right, Marty's shaking the box to let us know. That's it, folks. You can let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of choppy cut up video with the voiceover. Um, if you do, maybe we'll do this more often, <laughs> especially when there are technical difficulties. Ugh. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you find the content on this channel useful in any way, by all means, click that little subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you can be notified anytime that I or we upload a video to this channel. <sighs> With that being said, hon, remember, if you are having a good day, help someone else have a good day. It's those small and simple things in life that really make life worth living. Love and Jimmy's, babe.